Uh, let me thank uh, my colleague uh, for yielding. And as I was uh, attempting to eat my lunch, I heard my name invoked uh, more than once about what I did and what I didn't do. Uh, I just want all my colleagues to know uh, that uh, the President asked us uh, to extend the payroll tax credit for a year, asked us to extend unemployment benefits, and asked us to, uh, to extend uh, the payment schedule, the current payment schedule, uh, for doctors who treat Medicare patients. Uh, my colleagues uh, and I, on a bipartisan basis last week, uh, passed such a bill. Uh, the same kind of bill uh, that was requested uh, by the minority leader and the minority whip and my colleagues on the other side of the aisle. Uh, this bill was gonna, going to uh, cost about $200 billion. We found reasonable offsets uh, to make sure that we were taking care of the Social Security Trust Fund and not depleting it unnecessarily. As I said, the bill passed the House with a bipartisan vote. Uh, unfortunately, uh, our colleagues on the other side of the Capitol uh, decided to do what happens around here all too often. Too hard to figure it out. Uh, we're getting close to Christmas. We're going to leave. We're going to punt. And we're going to send a, a two-month bill over. Now, my colleague from New York was arguing for uh, what's basically a $1,000 a tax cut uh, for the average American family, and I'm here to say uh, to my colleague, it's exactly what we're fighting for. Uh, as I see the debate today, you're arguing for a $166 tax cut because it's only for two months. I want to give the average American family a $1,000 tax cut, and that means doing this for 12 months, as the President requested. Who doesn't believe that if we don't do this now, that when we get to, to February 28th, guess where we'll be? We'll be right here doing the same thing that we're doing right now. Uh, I just think the American people expect us to do our work. Uh, we've got uh, 10 days to do our work. We can resolve the differences between the House and Senate bill. Uh, we, everybody wants this extended for a year, uh, but it just happens to be inconvenient uh, for some to try to resolve it at this point. Why? Because we're getting close to the holidays. Uh, my colleagues and I are here and prepared to do our work. Uh, we've just made a motion to go to conference with the Senate. As my colleagues know, this is the regular order of how Congress works. The House passes a bill. The Senate passes a different bill. We go to conference to resolve the differences. And all we're asking is that our colleagues on the other side of the Capitol uh, come back to town, sit down, and resolve our differences, and let's do this once, and let's do it the right way for once. So I would ask my colleagues, uh, we can turn the rhetoric down. We don't have to get overly excited. There's no disagreement here. There's no disagreement at all uh, about the fact that everyone wants to extend this uh, for the next year. The only question is, when do people want to do it? Some want to kick the can down the road and wait until, wait until February. And on February 28th, we'll be sitting here looking at each other the same way. Why don't we just do it now and give the American